Hey y'all, welcome back to the Black Link Experience. It's your girl Marva B. Subscribe, like, and share. Leave your comments below because your opinion does matter. Jonathan Majors was convicted of two misdemeanor assault and harassment for attacking his girlfriend in a car. The company Marvel has dropped him and decided to part ways with him after the guilty verdict. And you guys, I knew this was going to happen. So just when his career was about to spiral, he is now, it is now going to crumble around him because it is evident. You look at R. Kelly, you look at P. Diddy, the moment that you are found guilty or you have accusations against you for, I don't care if it's SA, I don't care if it's DV, I don't care if it's assault, whatever it is, you're going to, the, the, the major deals are going, the major companies, the major deals are going to bust for you. And so your world is going to come crumbling down. And I don't know how Jonathan is going to recoup from this. I don't know how he's going to come back from this because once he's found guilty of it, and even though they're misdemeanors, losing partnerships and losing jobs, like it's going to be hard for him to work in the industry. Jonathan Major, who was one of Hollywood's fastest rising stars before misdemeanor domestic violence charge halted his ascent was found guilty of assault and harassment on Monday for attacking his girlfriend in a car in Manhattan. Surely after a six-person jury in Manhattan announced the verdict, Marvel Studios parted ways with the actor, a spokeswoman from the company said. So that means they, they were sitting and waiting for this verdict to happen. The jury acquitted Mr. Majors on two counts that had required prosecutors to show that he had acted with intent, one of assault and one of harassment. But jurors found Mr. Majors guilty on two other charges after more than five hours of deliberation. The verdict thwarted Mr. Majors' hopes of salvaging his career by proving his innocence in the March altercation. His future in the film industry is now clouded and he could face just under a year in jail. His sentencing is scheduled for February the 6th. When, as I was following this story, I knew, I knew that um, this was going to happen if he was found guilty on anything when it came to her and him. Um, just l listening to the videos, just seeing the videos that they played for the world to see, like he was already, in my opinion, found guilty when they saw that. So it didn't even take a juror for people to say, he's guilty, it's a, it's a wrap for him. And I knew that his career would be affected majorly in, the, in Hollywood. Mr. Majors, 34, wearing a gray suit and gray suede shoes did not visibly react to the verdict other than to squint slightly and to, and to wrinkle his forehead. He left the courthouse without comment. The jurors found him guilty of reckless assault and harassment after a whirlwind two-week trial in which the actor, like m most defendants, did not testify. Instead, the courtroom heard from his new, his now ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari, 30, who described in detail the altercation that left her ear bloody and finger fractured. On her first day of testimony this month, she gave... She gave jurors a full account of what happened, speaking publicly for the first time about the episode. She said that Mr. Majors had received a flirty text from another woman and that she had grabbed his phone out of his hand. First, she said, he tried to pry, pry her fingers away. Then he twisted her hand and her arm. Next, she said, I felt like a really hard blow across my head. Eventually, she said, Mr. Majors asked the driver to stop the vehicle. Video that jurors watched showed Mr. Majors jumping out followed by Miss Jabari. He turned around, picked her up, and placed her back in the car, appearing to push her back in when she tried to get out. So he was trying to run from her and keep her in the car and just get away from her. Um, that's what I took it as when I saw it. And maybe she bumped her head when he tried to put her back in, but I did see that. The Manhattan District Attorney Alvin L. Bragg said in an email that the trial had demonstrated the psychological and emotional abuse that is far too common in domestic violence cases. He thanked the jury for its services and Ms. Jabari for bravely telling her story despite having to relieve her trauma on stand. Mr. Major's lawyers had argued that it was Ms. Jabari who had assaulted their client, casting her as a liar who sought revenge on Mr. Major's after he strayed. They asked jurors to focus on Ms. Jabari's actions after the altercation with the actor. She had, ran into the, she had ran into three strangers who attempted to console her and then had gone out clubbing with them, returning home hours later. But prosecutors urged jurors to remain focused on what had happened in 
and directly outside the car, and, Mrs. and Mr. Major's arguments appeared to fall flat. A judge, prevented the act a judge prevented the actor's lawyers from detailing evidence that convinced at least one police detective that there was probable cause to arrest Ms. Jabari in October, months after the incident. A lawyer for Mr. Major's, Priya Chadri, Chaudhry, was defined in a statement arguing that jurors had not believed Ms. Jabari's story because they found that Ms. Mr. Majors did not intentionally cause any injuries to her. We are disappointed, however, that despite not believing Ms. Jabari, the jury nevertheless found that Mr. Majors was somehow reckless, she said, again accusing Ms. Jabari of attacking him. She added that Mr. Majors still has faith in the process and looks forward to fully clearing his name. In a statement, a lawyer for Ms. Jabari, Brittany Henderson, said that the verdict has shown that no abuser, no matter how powerful they may seem, is above the law. So there you have it, you guys. He has been found guilty. He could face up to one year in prison. We'll see what's next because they're saying that he will clear his name. So are they going to appeal it? Or what's going to happen from here? We'll be watching. It's unfortunate. All right, you guys, that's my story. So let me hear what you guys have to say. What are your thoughts around this? Leave your comments below. We love to hear from you guys. Subscribe, like, and share. Follow us on IG at The Black Link Magazine. You guys have a good one.